Paige Shaw on SPM, and you are here with me at Consensus. Everyone is so friendly and so excited about being in this crypto space. It's blowing up. It's going to be an amazing day, ladies and gentlemen. So don't go too far because we're going to show you everything that's happening here at Consensus, okay? Stand by. Founders of the Giving Block. We make it easy for nonprofits to accept cryptocurrency donations. Four years now, and we're working with uh, roughly 2,000 different charities now. My name is Kristen. I work at Arculus. Um, so, Arculus is a hardware wallet. Your private keys are generated and stored in the secure element on the card. So, they're completely offline and they can't be hacked. Um, it works with the Arculus uh, wallet app uses three factors of authentication to uh, sign transactions. So your biometric, so your face ID, your fingerprint, uh, your pin code, and then the card itself is required to sign any transactions because your keys are on the card. So it's a very secure way to store your crypto. It's easy to use and um, it's just the safest and easiest solution. Rodriguez, uh, head of content at Sin Futures. Sin Futures is a, a decentralized derivatives trading platform. Uh, we're currently deployed on Polygon, Arbitrum, Ethereum, and Binance uh, with plans to expand to other chains in the future. But on our platform, anyone can list and trade futures on any asset. My name is Marina Kaustova. I'm Chief Executive Officer of Crystal Blockchain. This is our booth and we are providing uh, risk compliance solutions for uh, cryptocurrencies and financial institutions who deal with the digital assets. So we are serving this for to compliance teams who work at cryptocurrency exchanges to services and services and uh, we're also um, helping um, with our blockchain analytics to those who are interested in understanding better actually what's happening in the blockchain industry. Yeah, my name is Brad Wilden. I'm the president and COO of Switch Reward Card. We are a crypto debit card, so on and off ramp for crypto and fiat. Uh, we're looking to go international as well as domestically. Uh, looking to launch here for U.S. in uh, in probably Q3, and then internationally. Uh, probably Q1 of next year. Uh, we're, we're based on a node network um, to distribute our rewards, our switch rewards. You can purchase a switch node if you want to participate and support the switch blockchain uh, through switchrewardcard.com. Hi there, yeah, my name is Steven. Uh, I'm Head of Business Development at Boba Network. Uh, we're a multi-chain layer two scaling solution. Uh, so we help chains everywhere be faster and cheaper um, and we augment them with our hybrid compute technology. So we allow developers to bring data from web two APIs straight into their smart contracts on Boba. Hey, my name is David Mickley. I work at Wintermute. We are a crypto market maker. What's a market maker? Let me explain. Uh, we do a few things. First is OTC, so people that want to buy or trade or sell crypto at scale, we help facilitate that through API, through user interface, or through chat. We also market make for projects. As projects are getting listed on exchanges, we support that, provide them liquidity, and we also do some work investing in projects that we're really excited about. Uh Sharp from Hive Blockchain Technologies. We're a crypto miner. We mine Bitcoin and Ethereum using green energy, primarily hydropower, in Canada, Sweden, and Iceland. Yeah, Shane from Crypto Tax Calculator. Uh, does what it sounds like on the box, helps you work out your taxes uh, when it comes to cryptocurrency. Uh, we do integrations with not just centralized exchanges, but we actually do uh, integrations with all the different blockchains like Avalanche. Uh, ETH, all the different EVMs, Solana, pretty awesome event, yeah. lots of people yeah. needing help with their taxes, that's for sure. Yeah, right, yeah. right, excellent. Yeah. Uh, hello, I'm 
Clément Fouché. I'm the co-founder of uh, Metaf.rs, which is a young company based in Paris and Hong Kong. Uh, we create 3D NFTs for brands and allow them to sell them directly onto their website in a 3D environment. Uh, so people can, the end user can purchase these NFTs on the brand's website that will unlock special perks in real life. And if it's wearables, they can add, the, add these NFTs onto their favorite avatar in the metaverse. Steve, uh, I'm from Dora Hacks. Uh, Dora Hacks, we help developers get grants. We organize a lot, a bunch of hackathons and community grant programs uh, with leading institutions, uh, ecosystem in the space. We have helped two southern startups raise $25 million in grants and donations in the past year. And we are a centralized crypto exchange, and we are founded on 2016, and currently we are based in Dubai. So most of our, and most of our users are based in um, Middle East, Asia, and also India, Africa, and also South Korea. And we are the top three exchange in Korea. Yes, uh, my name is Michael Cott. I'm the head of marketing here for Fortress Blockchain Technologies. We provide uh, NFT infrastructure for crypto innovators, um, all API-driven uh, NFT wallets that are embeddable, cross-chain minting engines, qualified custody through our state charter trust. Uh, a lot of fun things going on. We really want to empower innovators to really move the space up, along, and we're here to support all the growth that, that is to come. My name is Bilal, uh, I'm BD for ZK Space, which is a scaling solution for Ethereum mainly. So it's a layer 2 network based on ZK rollups. So yeah, my name is Roger Wang, I am the president of Global Sales for Prime Trust. And uh, a little bit about Prime Trust, we are a financial infrastructure uh, platform service provider. Uh, backed by a regulated ent entity. Uh, we provide services for from startups to large corporations and the spectrum of services that we provide uh, can uh, benefit anybody who wants to work with fiat and or crypto. Hi, Adam Bell from Customers Bank. I lead our marketing communications department and uh, we are very much a traditional bank in every sense that's exploring this crypto world and moved into this territory quite fast. Absolutely. My name is Miguel Palencia. I'm co-founder and chief operations officer of the Quantum Blockchain. We're a Bitcoin fork. Uh, we've been around since 2017 and uh, we fully support the EVM. So we were the first blockchain supporting the EVM from Ethereum on UTXO model and also being a proof of stake blockchain. Uh, yes, yeah, so my name is Firoz Lakani. I'm a marketing manager with the Tron DAO. Uh, we've been a blockchain, a layer one blockchain since 2017. We also acquired BitTorrent in 2018 to help expand into the US. Uh, very recently, we've actually expanded more west. We've been very APAC centric for the past five or six years. So we're making a big marketing push to expand in Europe, in the US. Uh, we've got a big hackathon underway. We had about 100 submissions in the last round. We've got over 1,000 currently. We're partnered with Dev Post to run our hackathon this season. Hey, I'm Charles from Nifty Island. We started this last year in April or March. Yeah, We're building an open social game world built by its users and we're trying to make a game world that is way more creative and way more driven by user-generated content by harnessing Web3. So it's like a game composed of user-generated islands. Everyone can have their own island for free. You can display all your NFTs on it from any chain, build your own games, and then earn crypto by driving engagement to the game. Abigail Castro and I work for Hedera Hashgraph. I'm currently at Swirls Labs and we're a layer one public distributed ledger. So we have lots of different use cases for you know whether you want to do finance or um, what is it like social uh, web applications just all over anybody really. Yeah.
Hi everyone, my name is Taylor Engstrom and I'm a product marketing manager here at MetaMask under Consensus. Yeah, MetaMask has been it's been a great experience. You know, they're the number one leading non-custodial wallet. People really love the Fox and we have a lot of sort of passionate community here. So, you know, as we continue to build and try to get people to build on Ethereum and on different blockchain networks, I think having MetaMask be a core piece of that and having people excited to continue to use it, uh, I think is really good for the crypto community overall and we're excited to be here.